I, the paper that is uh, published in the conference proceedings was written last year. Uh, however, in the last week, I was part of a delegation that went to Shizang, and uh, a lot of information has been gathered on this uh, research trip of what I've seen and what I've heard. And so this will lead to some new scientific articles in relationship to economic development, democratic processes in poverty alleviation, flourishing of Shizang culture, vast improvements in education and ecological civilization. I should say that uh, I research and teach in Marxist philosophy, uh, especially Marxist political philosophy, and I will present in light of that framework. It'll be a political philosophical framework. So as we know, this year Xi Tsung celebrates 64 years of democratic reform, which should be understood here in terms of the comprehensive and qualitatively superior, I emphasize that qualitatively superior whole process people's democracy, or we can also call it socialist democracy. And this whole process people's democracy may, de may be defined as a dialectical conjunction of Communist Party leadership and the people as masters of the country, mediated through the full range or whole process of democratic and rule of law statutory procedures. That's a shorthand definition that can be spelt out much further. I would like to make five points in relationship uh, to Xi Tsung. Uh, the first one is from democratic struggle to democratic reform. Um, first of all, democratic struggle in China may be traced back to the anti-imperialist struggle of the 19th century. And since 1949, China's socialist democracy has gradually developed into a comprehensive system of electoral, consultative, and grassroots democracy. Uh, as for Xi Tsung, uh, it began the process of democratic reform a little later, uh, after, especially since 1959. Uh, and as, all we know, as we all know, Xi Tsung had absolutely no form of democracy uh, before then, and so the development of electoral, consultative, and grassroots democracy in Xi Tsung is a huge step forward. Second, a uh, whole process people's democracy means that the people are masters of the country. And in Xi Tsung, the fact that the people are masters is a complete contrast to the old system. Uh, we may put it this way. The old system in Xi Tsung was the rule of a person, Renju. While since 1959, Xi Tsung has seen the development of rule of law and an associated legal system. This leads to the third point, which concerns comprehensively governing the whole country according to the rule of law. Now, much could be said here concerning the history of socialist rule of law and the significant achievements since the CPC's 18th National Congress. But let me emphasize that a socialist rule of law in a Chinese context also involves the influence of China's fine traditional culture. Think of rule of law and rule of virtue, uh, the need for apt or good laws, and the two combinations, liang ge ji he. Now, it's an obvious point, but it needs to be made. China's fine traditional culture very much includes the unique and important cultural contributions of China's minority nationalities, and especially those in Xi Tsung, in light of the research field trip that we undertook in the last week. Fourth, Whole process people's democracy re requires robust institutions from grassroots practices in villages, towns, and city neighborhoods through grassroots legislative contact points to the people's congresses and consultative, uh, people's, uh, yeah, people's uh, congresses and consultative conferences. Now, I would like to use here an example of grassroots democratic practice uh, as a result from the field trip last week. Um, we, uh, it concerns the relocation of people from some villages from very remote and harsh environments. We visited uh, Shigamenba village, about 40 kilometers from Linju, uh, which arose from the relocation and merging of Lugu village and Guadong village in 2003. 
these two villages were in very remote and harsh areas with virtually no opportunities for poverty alleviation. And since relocation to a resource-rich area with convenient transportation, the 82 households that make up Chigamomba village have seen significant economic improvement with the annual per capita income rising to 36,000 RMB last year. Of particular note is the process for making the decision to relocate. This is not an easy decision, as you can well appreciate, since the old villages were home for generation after generation. And here, grassroots democracy is crucial. All possibilities are considered, the pros and cons discussed and debated, the concerns of all taken into account, and the final decision reached by consensus. Most of all, it, most importantly, it is a democratic decision that is owned by all of the villagers. If I may offer a perspective on, of my own on this one, I have four grown children, two boys and two girls, and this year the seventh grandchild will be born. For someone of my age, however difficult it may be for me to leave my home of many decades, the primary concern would be a better life for my children's children. And fifth, um, whole process people's democracy includes the promotion of a socialist or more specifically a Marxist approach to justice and rights. And I'm not interested here in the very limited idea of human rights as preached by Western liberalism, but in the development of a Marxist approach to justice and rights. Now, while this tradition is based on anti-hegemonic sovereignty, which arose from anti-colonial struggles for national liberation, the core right is the right to socio-economic well-being or common prosperity economic development. And this was a particular point from President Xi Jinping's letter to the forum at the beginning. Now, since I've written elsewhere on the history of this approach from Marx and Engels to China today, I would like to draw again on the first-hand experiences from the research field trip to Xizang. One of the most lasting impressions is the stunning, stunning economic development of Xizang the core human right of socio-economic well-being. We can frame the economic development in light of this Marxist and socialist approach to human rights. Everywhere one turned, one could see evidence of the development. New and upgraded roads and railway lines, modern buildings in Shizang style, electricity, telephony, communications networks, enterprises making the most of opportunities and government startup funds and so on. And as one small example, one small example, on the second last day we climbed up well, in buses to a pass at about 5,000 metres above sea level. I pulled out my phone and found that the signal was as strong as in Lhasa. This is not an insignificant achievement. Since by comparison, in Australia, I frequently lose all phone contact as soon as I leave my hometown of Newcastle, which is at sea level. In light of this economic development, it should be no surprise that already by the end of 2020, Shitsung had overcome absolute poverty in some of the harshest and most difficult conditions in the world and achieved the level of a Shaokang society and is now on the path to common prosperity. Now, on this economic basis, and this is where more time to elaborate would be very important, on the economic basis or foundation, Shizang's culture is flourishing creatively, being recreated in the process on a firm economic foundation. Educational quality is notably improving and of a high level, and ecological programs are making significant developments and actually world-class world first breakthroughs. I was told by a, um, a government uh, a leader in uh, Lhasa that the plan is within the next 10 years to afforest the mountains on the north and south of Lhasa. It began 10 years ago. 
In other words, on the basis of socioeconomic well-being, Shitsang is experiencing an increase in civil, cultural and environmental rights. Last sentence. And so to conclude, whole process people's democracy means taking the people as centre. And so since liberation, and especially since 1979, it is an objective fact that Shitsang's development has been resolutely people-centred. Thank you.